Hi, this is Tom Clifford, and I am the manager of digital development here at H.C. Miller in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is my first uh, video log for work purposes. Certainly been doing it a lot in my uh, personal life, but for work, uh, this is the first of, <clears throat> of many. I really haven't thought of a good name yet, <clears throat> but we're going to work on that. Uh, and I'm going to talk about some different topics, things that are timely that are going on, happening at the at the time. Uh, they are going to go up on our, our blog, www.hcmiller.com forward slash blog. And love your comments. Today's topic is on customer service. I've been in customer service related uh, jobs ever since my very first job, easily 25 years. I'm entering my 42nd year of life. First job was a paper boy, very customer service oriented. In part of the distribution network, uh, and I worked at McDonald's, uh, I worked at a Wendy's, and in my formative years at college, I worked at a FedEx Kinko's, no FedEx at that time. Then I worked at different service bureaus and printers. <clears throat> but our ultimate goal was to make our customer happy, to take care of our customer. Over the years, I've seen some great examples of customer service, and I've seen some really poor examples of customer service. For a second, let's think about some of the poor examples of customer service. You know, people who do nothing more than forward emails around. Nothing more frustrating than to get an email with a huge, big email string of forwarding back and forth, forwarding back and forth, and someone who doesn't just pick up the phone. I just really wanted to strangle someone and go, pick up the phone. Let's get, you know, one-on-one, -on -one. <clears throat> how many times does an email get uh, misinterpreted, misrepresented? Uh, just pick up the phone and let's get this solved. Get this thing solved. Um, uh, another thing that just drives me nuts about <clears throat> uh, people in the customer service industry is make a decision, you know, just because you don't make the right decision doesn't mean that's a bad decision. I would rather have somebody who would go on a limb and say, Tom, I told the customer to do this. And then I'd go, okay, we can fix it. As opposed to the person who always comes, what should I tell the customer? What should I tell the customer? What should I tell the customer? Make a decision. The customer service person can't be someone who waffles, can't be wishy-washy. Make a decision, stick with it, and we'll move forward. Um, so you have to be, you got to pick up the phone, and you got to be a good decision maker. Here at H.C. Miller, we have a gal named Sherry who's just an amazing customer service people, a person. I've worked with a lot of awesome customer service people throughout my years, and Sherry fits right in there with some of the best. Always willing to, she's, you know, pick up the phone, get the question answered. Uh, if you if you have a need, you go to her. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Being customer focused is where we need to be, in whichever industry you happen to be in. Uh, the day uh, has come where people are very, what's the lowest price? What's the lowest price? What's the lowest price? But I think that the customer service has a lot to do with it also. If you're just selling a widget. Okay, I can go someplace where I can get the cheapest widget. Uh, but thankfully, here at H.C. Miller, we're not just selling a widget. You're trying to sell a service. And when you sell that service, customer service goes along with it. So a great customer service representative or account manager is certainly important to build that relationship with your customers. I'm Tom Clifford, and this is my point of view, and I appreciate your time.